we've been at the Global Health Council conference this week. Um, IRD hosted a panel event on health integration and how it's the way of the future. So not just focusing on providing health services, but really building healthier communities. IRD is present in 40 countries. We have more than 120 programs, and health is streamlined in most of those programs. We want to make uh, integrated interventions to benefit the livelihood of the family, to benefit people, and to benefit the communities we serve. IRD approach in Iraq is a very distinguished approach, really. Uh, I'm from Iraq, I grew in Iraq, and uh, I'm a medical doctor in Iraq. This is a unique integration of services towards the community in Iraq. Uh, the main purpose is to foster the democracy concepts, but at the grassroots level. You cannot hear what the people need, what the people requirements, unless there is a bridge and channel that connect the people towards the local governments, unless the people themselves practice the local governments. So what IRD did establishing 100 plus community action groups. They are people who, in their community, they are leaders, who represent the community needs. To achieve a goal of a healthy community, you need more than health services or a health care system. You need a better community, you need a better means of transportation, you need a better family integration, you need a better education, a better mental state. So to achieve all that, that will lead to the main goal of having a healthy community. The win-win of the next generation. This is a, a blog from one of the students who's working in Niambani. This is a, a student who's an economics major, and he's also uh, an EMT. Um, so he's, he's already got a good interdisciplinary foothold, and I think this experience on the ground in Kenya is going to really strengthen his education and shape him as a leader. After quickly learning to explain what I was about to do in the local language, I became increasingly comfortable with the lack of physical resources in the facility. While the Shell Oil Company supplies running gas to thirsty consumers, a medical facility without running water struggles to implement proper sanitary precautions only 100 meters down the road. Frustration cannot fully describe the experience. We're um, passing on structures that um, are not very integrated. And really, they're, the next generation are going to have to if we, if we think integration is needed to be successful, they're going to have to have the skills and kind of leadership vision on how to do that. So sort of going into the, the classroom, back to the classroom experience and how particularly professionals entering public health, um, law, business, religion, medicine, how to, how to help them think integratively. IRD initiated a project to produce an enriched food supplement partnership with the 10 Indonesian noodle factories. Noodle factories manufactured tasty, nutritious noodles and sold at very reasonable price, very successful. The factories hired new employees and they expanded and helped soften an existing Indonesian economy crisis. So since 2004, uh, IRD has been focused on addressing uh, pronounced nutrition and childcare challenges in Cambodia, including 30% uh, of uh, children under five years are underweight, 40% are stunted, and among them, 14% severely stunted. The cause of uh, infant and childhood malnutrition are multidimensional. Uh, actually, there's no silver bullet solution to nutrition existed. So we work in one area, such as water sanitation, but reinforced work, work in uh, other sectors, such as uh, food uh, security. We listen to you. We listen to the field. We are looking at emerging evidence that, that, that you can provide us as you implement your programs, as you design them. I hope I gave you the enthusiasm to keep reporting, increase that rigor of your study designs, and do look at, at what you can do to integrate. You deserve an enormous amount of congratulations for this because what you are doing in health, you have been at the cutting edge of true gender integration. But we need from you um, a couple of things to make that effort more successful. And 
one of those things, and I really underline um, our colleague from USAID, is that we need more and better data and research. We need to know what is really working in integration, where are you finding the barriers, and what would happen if that barrier was removed? 